Now, please remain seated. We, are, we now have Dr. Andrews with us. So we will be starting the session, and I would like to introduce Dr. Bill Andrews, who is the president and CEO of Sierra Sciences. As a scientist, athlete, and executive, Dr. Andrews continually pushes the envelope and challenges convention. He has been featured in Popular Science, The Today Show, and numerous documentaries on the topic of life extension. He is also a named inventor on 45 US issued patents on telomeras and author of numerous scientific research studies published in peer reviewed scientific journals. It is an honor to have Dr. William Andrews with us lecturing on this pioneering topic. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Andrews for the role of telomeres. Thank you, Sylvain. Uh, I've really enjoyed this conference. I've, I'm very impressed with the quality of the speakers here. So uh, congratulations, Sylvain, on putting together such a great conference. Um, <clears throat> I've, uh, let, me, let me qualify a few things. I'm going to be talking, to, I've got two talks today. And what I'd like you to think of is that I'm going to give you the bad news first. And then towards the half, last half of my talk, I'm going to give you some good news. But the great news is going to be in my second talk. So think of this first talk as just a warm-up <laughs> or just an introduction to my second talk. Um, <clears throat> now, I've been <sighs> criticized a lot for saying that my mission is to cure aging. A lot of people don't like me using the word cure. But I consider us all having a disease, which I call telomere shortening disease. And if it truly is a disease, then I think we can cure it. And that's my mission. Now, I've been interested in this as long as I can remember. I've always been focused on trying to find ways to live as long as I can, because I love living. And I want to live as long as I can. And I think a lot of us are like that. And, but the point is that we've got to live healthy as long as we can. And some people already talked about how a lot of the things that have happened so far has created this, quote, silver tsunami. I haven't heard that term used it yet. Where, where we're collecting a lot of old people right now. And right now, the, probably the number one profession in 20 years is going to be care for the elderly, because we're going to have so many old people just because we've done all these things like chemotherapy, car, uh, bypass surgery, uh, better sanitation, antibiotics, vaccines, on, refrigeration, on and on and on has made it so that we're living longer, but we're, our lifespans are being extended faster than our health spans. And so we got to really focus on extending our health spans. And that's kind of the stuff I'm talking about. I think the research I'm doing right now is a solution to correcting our, our life, health span problems. We need to extend our health spans. So we all suffer from something called telomere shortening disease. The big problem that I've always had with the subject of aging and trying to figure out how to intervene and, saw, and correcting the aging problem is that all the theories kind of suggests that we, are, we age because of environmental impacts. The food we eat, the, the, the being out in the sun, the wind, the rain, just like we're trucks sitting in a field. But we're different. We have cells, we can, cells that divide to replace damaged skin. We get a sunburn and it kills cells. But we, divide, we have cells that divide and replace those cells. So I was always worried about the theories. They, nothing made sense. Why is it? If we all age because of the environment, why is it that people that live on the North and South Poles age at the same rate as people who live on the equator, where the environments are very different? And then why do cats and dogs age at different rates than humans when they're in the same environment? So this always bothered me, and I decided a long time ago, there's got to be some kind of clock that's ticking inside of us that actually controls the aging process. And that clock is just set differently, let's say, in cats and dogs. We have the same clock ticking in all of us, and this is what I call a disease, this ticking clock. So what I want to do, because I know I've talked to a lot of people already here, and a lot of people don't know what telomeres are, what I want to do is I want to kind of give a simple explanation of what telomeres are. And first, they're, they're very, very small things inside of us. So we have to zoom in on a human being. Let me get out of the slide. We have to zoom in on a human being. We find that humans are made up of 100 trillion cells. And most of the theories say that we age because these cells age. So this is where we got to intervene. We got to find out how to stop the aging process in these cells. Well, we got to zoom in even further. 
we find that every cell contains a nucleus. Zooming in further, we find that all these, inside of the nuclei are found these chromosomes. This is where our genes are that give us our hair color, our eye color. Most of you know this. Um, <clears throat> but think of it, this is a, from one end, from one arm end all over the other, the chromosome contains this long string of beads called DNA. The beads are called bases, and a typical chromosome is about 100 million bases in length. Think of it like a really long shoelace. Now, at the caps of your shoelaces, you have these caps called aglets. Well, they're equivalent to the telomeres on our chromosomes, and that's where we're going here. Telomeres are the very tips of our chromosomes. And so just think of that long shoelace, and the caps on your shoelaces are the telomeres on your chromosomes. Okay, now, our telomeres, I said our chromosomes are 100 million bases in length. Our telomeres are only about 15,000 bases in length. If we unravel the DNA there. And this is where things start getting exciting. Because I said there had to be a clock. And it turns out that we've discovered that the telomeres actually shorten with age. They actually, you can actually measure length of telomeres and you can tell a person how old they are. And more important, you can tell a person how long it'll be before they die of old age. And I'll tell you, when I first learned this about 20, a little over 20 years ago, I was pretty excited because there was that clock that I was looking for. And it's the first clock of aging ever discovered, and it might still be the only clock of aging ever discovered because every other theory on a clock that ticks inside of us has now been shown to stop ticking when this clock stops ticking. So this is the master clock. This is the, might be the master clock of aging. I, I gotta remember, still research, there's still a lot of theories involved here. But the telomeres are 15,000 bases, at least when we're first conceived. And here's where all the troubles begin. When our cells divide, every single time our cells divide, our telomeres get a little bit shorter by about 50 to 100 bases. Now there's a lot of cell division that occurs between the time we're a newborn, or when we're first conceived, a single cell embryo, to the time when we're a newborn baby. So during that embryogenic process, our telomeres shorten from 15,000 bases down to 10,000 bases. We've already lost 5,000 bases before we're even born. But that's okay. I mean, what happens when you take the caps on your shoelaces and cut them in half, okay? Your shoelaces are still fine, okay? Because you still have plenty of cap left. So when we're first born, we still have plenty of telomere left, so, left, so we're still pretty healthy. But the problem doesn't end there. The problem gets worse because we're still gonna go through a lot of cell division as we grow up to become an adult. As we grow and get older and older and go through more and more cell division, our telomeres get shorter and shorter and shorter. When they get down to 5,000 bases, our cells lose the ability to function and we die of old age. This has now been confirmed in Petri dishes. Human cells grow in Petri dishes. When the cells grow and the telomeres get down to 5,000 bases, the cells can no longer function. And it's also been looked at in different tissues in humans, collecting different tissues of people from different ages, very good correlations between the age of the person and the length of their telomeres, and we find that the telomeres can't get shorter than 5,000 bases. What happens when the telomeres get down to 5,000 bases, it's the same thing that happens when your caps on your shoelaces get really short. Your shoelaces start falling apart. Well, same thing happens to our chromosomes. When the chromosomes get really short, when the telomeres get really short, we actually can see chromosome rearrangements. They're, you know, piece of chromosome three fused to chromosome seven, et cetera, et cetera, things like that. And these are mutations. And these are mutations that are causing a lot of the diseases that affect us as we get old. So let me just review that one more time. We're conceived at 15,000 bases. We're born at 10,000 bases and we die of old age at 5,000 bases. And the problem is there's absolutely nothing we can do about this uh, as of yet, okay? This is what I'm working on. But <clears throat> it's the only clock, as I said, the only clock of aging that's been discovered, and it explains a lot of different things. And I'm gonna explain some more in detail, but the bottom line that I want everybody to remember today is bad things happen when telomeres get short. This is 
Everything bad that you can imagine happens when telomeres get short. There's nothing wrong with long telomeres. Long telomeres make you very healthy and stuff, but when telomeres get short, havoc is wreaked throughout your cells and causes, as I said, every kind of illness you can ever imagine. So let's discuss for a minute why telomeres shorten. And I'm gonna explain this twice. First, I'm just gonna go through an analogy that'll make it easier for everybody to understand. But I want you to think of every time a cell divides to make two daughter cells, everything inside that cell needs to be duplicated in order for the daughter cells to have the identical contents as the parent cell. Well, that includes the DNA that I mentioned. The DNA molecule has to be duplicated through a process called DNA replication. What I'd like to do is I'd like you to think of an analogy of when the DNA gets replicated, it's the same as making a new row of bricks on top of a brick wall, okay? And what's happening here is just moving along, making this new row of bricks. Now, unfortunately, inside of our cells, our cells decided to put the brick layer on top of this wall, and you'll see this can be a problem later on. And but remember that the chromosome's really long, so it's a long, arduous process, and has to be accurate, or mutations will occur. But what we're focused on today is what is happening over at the telomere, because you're gonna see the brick layer being on top of the wall is not a good thing because when the brick layer gets to the end of this wall, he can't put a brick in the last place he was standing. As a result, this new chromosome is shorter than the old one. A lot of people think that, who are a little bit about telomere shortening, think that telomeres get shorter because something's chewing them away, but it's not. It's not a wear and tear type of thing. It's the cell's lack of the ability of the cell to be able to duplicate or replicate the very tip of the chromosome. As a result, it gets shorter. Okay, the cell's gonna get ready to divide again. Chromosome needs to be duplicated again. The brick layer, again, is gonna fall off on the end of this wall. And the chromosome's gonna be shorter. And next, next cell division is gonna be even shorter. And there's nothing we can do about this. No matter how much we eat, no matter how much we exercise, no matter how much we tell ourselves or doctors tell us, to do, we can't stop this shortening. I call this basal level telomere shortening. It's a level of shortening that we have no control over, at least not yet. Now, if there's anybody here who's really interested in accelerating their aging, if they really are impatient to get into the grave, there's lots of things you can do to accelerate that aging, okay, and accelerate the telomere shortening. And that's anything related to an unhealthy lifestyle. That includes obesity, lack of exercise, psychological stress, smoking. All these things cause the production of free radicals and inflammation that will actually cleave your telomeres and cause them to get shorter at even a faster rate. Of course, there are things we can do about that, and I'll be talking about that in the later, next talk. So I call this accelerated telomere shortening. Now, given the math on everything that I've shown here, if we look at how many cells, there's some cells in our body that divide at constant rates. They're called constant replicators. That includes our immune cells, our skin cells, our gut cells, hair follicle cells. These are always dividing throughout our lives. And so when you measure the telomere lengths in these, they're very good correlation with the actual age of the person. When you, when you do all that math, you find out that, boy, if you live the healthiest of lifestyles, you don't do anything to cause that accelerated telomere shortening, that basal level telomere shortening is still going to uh, kick you in the grave by the time when you're 125 years. And as was mentioned earlier or yesterday, nobody's ever lived to be 125 in documented history. John Calment in France lived to be 122, and she's the closest that's ever come up to approach this. And this telomere biology explains this limit on our lifespan very well, better than anything. In fact, I've got three references here of studies that were done before we really got into this telomere telomerase stuff, showing that, that several studies that look at population studies from the days of the Romans, looking at how the average lifespan has been increasing, but extrapolating in all cases to find out what the maximum lifespan would be. And they all came up with the same answer of 125 years, but they had no explanation until now. The telomere theory of aging explains exactly why we have this theoretical maximum lifespan of 125 years. And a lot of theories are still explaining a lot, lot more. But I think this is going to become the biggest medical breakthrough of all time when we start really realizing the importance of our telomeres and have ways of correcting the problem. 